All right, so I am going to give you one sentence. I'm going to give you three choices. We've got a challenge today. I want to see if you can get the correct answer. And the sentence I'm going to give you is, he was driven. That's it. That's a whole entire sentence. No other context, nothing else. He was driven. What does that sentence mean? Does it mean A, that somebody drove him somewhere? Does it mean B, that he was motivated to maybe do something? Or C, does it mean both? So go ahead and pause the video, think about it a little bit, and I'll give you the answer after this. Hello, my name is Dave. I am a CELTA certified English teacher, and I am here to help you learn English. If you ever want to take lessons with me, just go to my website, davesenglish.com, or just say english.com. And there you can go to the front page and you can either take a trial lesson or if you want to just delve right into it, you can start taking 60 minute lessons right away. I hope to see you in the near future and I want to help you move in that direction to help you improve your English. All right. So what do you think the answer was? Which one do you think it was? If you said A, that he was driven means that somebody drove somebody somewhere. You're correct. You're correct. Congratulations. You said B, you said, oh, it must mean that this person was motivated. You're correct as well. So C is actually the correct answer that both of these are correct. But why? Why do we have such different variations in meaning for the sentence that is exactly the same? Well, that is the subject of today's video. Now, anyone who is an intermediate learner of English will probably already know that the first meaning that he was driven by somebody is passive voice. And you are correct. He with to be, and then the past participle, which a lot of people know as third form, would form the passive voice. So we could just add by someone at the end of the sentence. We can say he was driven by someone or he was driven by John. And why would we put something in passive voice? We usually put something in passive voice if we either don't know the subject or the subject isn't important. And in English, what we usually do is we take the important part of the sentence and put it in the beginning of the sentence. So this is why sometimes the object or what is receiving the action or the verb can be more important than the subject that actually performs the verb. So in this situation, the person performing the verb would be the driver, whoever that driver is. But this isn't important in our sentence. The most important part of this sentence is we want to say that he was driven, that this individual that we're talking about got into a car and somebody else took him somewhere. That's what's important here. And if you're thinking passive voice, exactly. This is just a pure subject, to be verb, and past participle verb, or third form, which is what I will refer to it throughout the rest of this video. All right, so in this other example, he was motivated. What, what does that have to do with driving? What does this have to do with driving, you know, at all? Why, why are we talking about this? Well, it actually isn't a verb. It isn't a third form verb in this sentence. It's actually an adjective. And that is the topic of today's video is we're going to be talking about participle adjectives, adjectives that come from participles. Now we have the past participle, which is, as we talked about, the third form of a verb. And this is where we would have the word driven. We also have something called present participles. And present participles is just the ing form when you put something in continuous form. So if you say, I am working, working is actually a present participle. So these are our participles. You want to think present participle, which is continuous form ing, past participle, third form of the verb. Okay. One, remember that. Okay, so if we look at driven, we look at this participle adjective, it's very different than the verb to drive. Now, in most situations, the participle adjectives we use will be closely related to the verb they're connected to. However, this isn't always the case, and driven is one of those cases where being driven as motivation compared to being driven that somebody drove you in passive form, these are actually very different. And 
this doesn't happen as much. They're usually very closely related. I'm going to give you some examples here. So one example I will give you is she was bored. Okay. Now when we say she was bored, this is a description of how she feels. She was bored. Now in this situation, unlike what we had with driven, driven was an irregular verb. So we have drive, drove, driven. Third form, driven, that's what we have there. But as you know, with regular verbs that we do the first base form, the second form is just the past simple form, and the past participle is the third form. So in both of those situations, the second form and the third form, we use ED in both of those situations. So with bored, bored is actually a regular verb. So we can say, I am bored. That's how I feel. Now, if we say I am boring, you're describing yourself as to how you reflect on other people. So we can say I am bored. I feel bored because this movie is boring. We're describing how that movie makes me feel. And this is where we're using both the present participle. This movie is boring and the past participle. I feel bored. And these come from the verb to bore. Now, we really don't use the verb to bore that often. Now, I, I could say this movie bores me. And that would be a correct way to use it. But we usually instead just describe the movie. We usually say this movie is boring. We usually don't say this movie bores me. But we can. It's totally fine. It's grammatically correct English. It's absolutely okay. Now let me give you a third one. And the third one is going to be, he was confused. Now this one can be confusing using an adjective, present participle, ing to describe this. It is confusing that without any context, you might not even know what it is. You might not know if it is an adjective or a passive form verb, you know, the third form of a verb in passive form. So what do you think it is? If I say he was confused without any context, well, if you said both are possible, you're right. Because in many of these sentences, we either need to have some prior context or create context within our sentence so that the speaker is able to be understood as to what they are saying. So this is actually true. So I can give you a little bit of a trick to understand the difference between if it's passive or not. So if I say, I was confused by the movie. So you're saying the movie confused me. If you can change by to because something that causes it, then chances are it's actually an adjective. So let's think of this sentence. I was confused by the movie. We can also say I was confused because of the movie. We can say both. We can change by to because. And in those situations, we're actually talking about the way we feel. Thus, we're actually talking about an adjective. We're not talking about a passive form verb. Let's take our original example that we had when it comes to I was driven. Now, in this sentence, we could say I was driven by John. But we can't say I was driven because of John. This, the sentence doesn't make sense. It doesn't say what we're trying to say. So you can see in that situation, if we're actually trying to change it and we're adding John as the person who did it, we can't put because in a passive sentence. So in this situation, a passive sentence, we really can't use because we would use by, we would say who did the action. But if we use because we're saying that we feel some way, as a result or because of something else. Now, one mistake that a lot of speakers make when it comes to English, especially Russian speakers, is they won't notice the difference between something being a verb and something being an adjective. So for example, a lot of Russian speakers would say, I bored. Now, this could be true in certain contexts, but usually isn't. You're probably describing how you feel. This is where you have to utilize the to be verb. I am bored. And that is the difference because if you say I bored, 
bored is a past tense verb conjugated with the subject I. But once you say I am bored, your main verb is to be, you conjugate it with I, and bored is your past participle adjective that you are using there. Another thing to remember is that when you're using these participle adjectives, the past participle is going to connect more to maybe how you feel or how somebody else feels, how something is inside someone, whereas the present participle form of the adjective, the ing form, is usually going to be to describe something else or how something else affects somebody else. Going back to what I said about the movie, say, you know, this movie makes me feel bored. So this is a boring movie. So in the first one, when you say I feel bored, it talks about my feeling. But when I say the movie is boring, I'm describing the movie. And this is usually how the participle adjectives work with both present participle talking about describing something, past participle talking about the feelings within someone. All right. Well, that was just a short video that I wanted to make about uh, participle adjectives. These are something that can be very confusing to a lot of people learning the language and actually um, they're out there a lot. There are a lot of them out there. So hopefully you are able to discern the difference between these two so that when you are trying to use these, you actually don't make mistakes. So thank you very much. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I'm going to be making videos every so often and I want to help you improve your English. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day wherever it is you are, and I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.